Who would have thought that a four inch frame would be almost the same size as a three inch frame and almost half the weight? All right, a couple of months ago, I published a video about how I built my three inch FPV drone. A viewer commented on it and they said that they wanted to do something similar, but they wanted to make it four inch instead. So therefore they needed to use heavier motors and they also wanted to use some 3S1000 batteries that they had laying around, which are also a little bit heavier than the 3S850s that I'm using. So the challenge is to make it bigger yet lighter. I was curious if I could figure it out. So let's get to it. I usually start my designs with some guides to get a basic shape based on measurements that I already know. So I know that I want to fit a mini stack and a regular stack and some standoffs. So I'm drawing those in and then just shape the rest around it. Round off those corners a little bit and make sure there's enough strength around those holes and then cut all the extra weight out of it. Also need a place for battery straps, but first <laughs> I'm drawing in uh, where the motors will be so I get a better perspective. So now I'm drawing in the, the gaps for the battery straps and keep it as light as possible. But then I realized, well, if I'm going for light, then I should probably just forget about the regular stack, just make one for the mini stack and standoffs. So I copied it and made this version, deleted the rest. I'm going to do pretty much the same thing going to make sure that there is enough strength around those holes and round off those corners and make room for the battery straps. Then I need some arms. So I just copied that plate, that stack plate and, and use those, uh, those measurements that I took earlier for where the motors will be and just delete all the geometry that I don't need so I can shape the arms. It's again, it's just based on the measurements that you know and then just fill in the blanks and just see that it looks sort of okay. At first I thought, you know, because the those stack screws basically interfere with the arms so I wanted to incorporate them. But then I realized, well, you know, the stack screws aren't that long, so they probably won't make it all the way through. So then I realized maybe those should be cutouts instead. So I'm revising this design. I'm just going back and um, drawing the lines, take that out and do that on all sides. So here we are. I put it all together. I had to borrow some hardware from the previous squad. I borrowed the standoffs and the screws. But yeah, this is the four inch design that I came up with. So let's see how much it weighs in grams. Thirty five grams. It's not too bad. I had to make it bigger yet lighter. The three inch quad that I put together, the frame with the standoffs and screws and everything was 60 grams. So the challenge was to accommodate bigger props and motors, uh, heavier motors, heavier battery, and still keep it under 250 grams. So that's why I only have room for a single stack. If you do want to add FPV to this, you can put the camera on top. So let's compare it to the three inch quad that I made earlier. So actually, it's not that much bigger than the three inch quad once you look at it like this. And if you look even closelier, the width from motor axle to motor axle is actually the same. And then lengthwise, if I line up these stack screws with the center of these, it's actually also the same length. 
if you count, you know, the bumper on the front on the three inch that aligns with this. Yeah, these are not that different in a way. So I cut about 25 grams from the frame by just keeping it simple, have a single stack. So that helps a bunch because the 1806s are going to be about 20 grams for all four of them are going to be about 20 grams heavier than the 1407s that are on here. The battery uh, 3S1000 is going to be roughly 20 grams heavier than the 3S850 that I'm using for the for the three inch version. But yeah, if you're leaving out the FPV stuff, if you're leaving out the camera and the VTX, you may already be there. So it may be possible to do it this way. The reason why this one is uh, so heavy is because this main body is so long and all the extra equipment that you need for FPV. And I wanted the lens to be in front of these motor axles. Because if you do that, then if you have like a 120 degree lens, that's why I designed this this way. So that I don't have any props in the, in the frame. But if you don't care about that, and you wanna go four inch, you run heavier battery, heavier motors. Looks like you can do it. If you're trying to design your own frame or you want to, let me know down in the comments what you're working on. Maybe we can figure something out. If you like this kind of stuff, do this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.